Hello, teachers and parents. Are you trying to help your third grader understand how to read numbers to the thousands place? But you're like, how do I even go about doing this? Well, you are most certainly in the right place. I wanna welcome you to Math Unlocked, where I get the opportunity to offer you strategies for helping students in grades three through five. My name is Miss McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy, and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you and all the students that you may work with. In today's episode, we are going to break down how to read numbers at a third grade level. And after that, I will point you in the direction for some more help if you're like, hey, you know what? I would certainly love some more help. Don't worry, I've got your back at the end. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, y'all, so here we are, and we are working on how to read numbers to the thousands place at the third grade level. And I just wanna go ahead and say that a lot of times in third grade students are expected to already come with this knowledge but as a teacher I know that oftentimes they don't and it's important that they know how to read numbers and it's important that they understand place value in order to do that so that's what we're gonna break down here I'm gonna go into depth and in exactly how I go about teaching this to students that way you can have a firm understanding as well now here we have a number right and if you were to ask your third graders how do you read this number I would imagine that some of them would know exactly how to read it, while other ones might go like 100, 247, 1247, 1247, like they're not understanding the proper way to go ahead and read this number. I let students know that there are four digits in this number. We have one, two, three, four digits. A digit is a number between zero and nine. It's a single number between one and nine. I'm sorry, between zero and nine. There's four digits here. And these digits are all located in certain places. The seven right here is located in the ones place and it has a value of seven. The four is located in the tens place. It has a value of 40. The two right here is located in the hundreds place. Okay, it has a value of 200. And these three right here are actually part of a special group. They belong to a special neighborhood. That's kind of how I like to refer to it as, as a neighborhood. But the name of this neighborhood is called the ones period. So the ones period. Okay, so the ones, tens, and hundreds, they all belong to the ones period. And right here, we've got a comma. The comma closes the period that you're leaving when you read it. So comma to close the period. Meaning it's closing up, letting you know that we're leaving the period that's actually to our left. So we'll go ahead and get back to the comma in just a second, but it does have a certain role. So after three digits, we put a comma because we're entering into a new period. So right here, we have the digit one, and this one also is grouped with two other places here. So three places total. And we've got the one thousands place, the 10 thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. Now we are not going to go all the way up to the hundred thousands place in third grade because in most places, third grade does not go up to this, but we can see here that we actually are repeating. You can see the O, the T, the H, the ones, the tens, the hundreds repeating over and over again. So this one right here belongs to the ones, sorry, the one thousands place. The name of this period is called the thousands period. Okay, and it keeps on going into the millions period and the billions period, and you start to notice a pattern. It's really important for students to notice that there's a pattern happening here. We've got the ones, tens, hundreds, ones period. One thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, that's in the thousands period, and you continue on and on to the millions, the billions, trillions, all of that. So now when it comes down to reading this number, let's go ahead and do that. Let me see what I've got here. So we read, there's, oh, before I get going, when I'm teaching how to read numbers to students, I also mention that the hundreds place always says its name. So I put a little star right here, okay? And I call it the say my name and slide. We read the digit in the hundreds place and then we slide. You'll see what I mean in just a second. 
Okay, let me put a little star right there. Okay, so now when it comes to reading this number, I would read it as 1,000, that comma, I say the period that I'm leaving. I'm leaving the thousands place. So 1,000, two is in the hundreds place. So 200 and slide, 47. 1,247. All right, so that's that example. Let's go ahead and move on to another example up here using the same kind of thing. All right, now we're gonna quickly label since we went into depth on that first one. Let me slide this up just a little bit. Okay, so again, we've got three places right here that are in the ones period. We've got the ones, tens, and hundreds. This right here is in the one thousands place. And I know right there I've got a comma to close the period as I read it. So here's how we go. And make sure that we stop right here to say the name of the hundreds place. Only this time, we've got a zero in the hundreds place. So we have a zero, the digit zero in a hundreds place. We actually don't have to say the name hundreds. We just skip it, okay? So here's how it goes. I actually put this there on purpose. That way you can help students. So we would read this as 3,000. And I usually have students go like this, so they don't say it. They're recognizing that zero is there, but they're not gonna say it. So 3,019, okay? Slide across 19, whoop, sorry. So 3,019, awesome. Moving on to the third example for today. This time we've got a zero in the tens place. Let me go ahead and I always, always, always have students just quickly jot their place value right there. Just get in the habit of it. Ooh, there's a comma right there. Bam, and don't forget, we're gonna say the name hundreds there, okay? So here we go. Let's read this one. It would be 6,408. Zero, eight, that just makes eight. So 6,408. Slide across with the tens and the ones. 6,408. And that is how I go about teaching kids. Again, third graders, sometimes we just jump right into rounding and we jump right into adding and subtracting and we forget the basics. They, they need to have a strong understanding. If they have a strong understanding of how to read numbers, that means that they really understand place value, which is huge. So make sure that you understand how to read and write numbers and you'll be set to go. All right, so there is how you read numbers. I hope that that makes sense. And if you're like, you know what? I could really use some more information on this. I'm gonna point you in the, keep bopping my microphone. I'm gonna point you in the right direction right now on my website. All right, so here we are at my website. And what I'm gonna show you first is the free stuff that you have access to, okay? So the very first thing that you can check out is going to freebies. This is mccarthymathacademy.com. Right there on the homepage, you'll see a tab that says freebies. Click that and I want you to go to math songs right there. If you go there, you will notice right here that I've got a place value song that can help you. You notice I'm wearing a shirt that looks similar to what you will see in the video. And I'm gonna play just a little bit for you so you can get a taste of what it is all about. First term you gotta learn is digit, a digit is zero to nine. Get it? Give me three digits like one, two, three. They each have their own special place, you see. Three in the ones, two in the tens, one in the hundreds. <laughs> They're kind of like friends. Living in a little neighborhood that we like to call the ones period. Beyond this thing we call a comma are three more places. You can join me if you wanna. Welcome to the thousands period, where the one, ten, and hundred thousands live. Hey, you gotta know place value. Okay, so we'll stop right there. But you can see that that right there is pretty much what we covered in song form. And songs help students to lock in things that they're supposed to memorize. They can pull it out. You know, when I was a teacher in the classroom, I had students working on a test and just kind of mouthing the lyrics to help them work through problems. When you're combining math, music, and movement together, it really helps students to get a whole learning experience. It's really awesome. So check that out. Again, it's under the songs tab. The next resource that I want to point out is my taking on the best membership. And actually for this particular skill, there's a free sample that you can access. Anybody can. Now you'll notice it's called taking on the best, which if I sign up for a free trial, 
Once you have that, you can just click third grade. And we're gonna be working right here in this NSO strand. Now this is a program specifically geared towards Florida and Florida's standards, Florida's best standards. So you see free trial this way. You're gonna click on that. You'll notice all of these right here. So reading and writing numbers. This is the one that has, actually you'll get with your free trial, you will get access to this sample standard. And you can see right here that I've got a video on the foundational skills of place value. And then next here, reading and writing numbers, which will actually be the next video that I put out on YouTube to help you. Let me just play a little clip here for you. This individual numbers is called a digit, but these digits are located in certain places. Everybody say places. Awesome, okay, places. Let's start with the eight. Do you know what place the eight is in? Yeah, it's in the ones place. Everybody say ones place. Awesome, go ahead and write this down with me. Ones, O-N-E-S, ones place. Eight ones. This is a unit cube, it's a ones cube. It represents one. And if I had eight ones, I would be holding eight of these ones, okay? All right, so there's a little sneak peek for you. You can see right over here is where the printable is that you can download and print right for that video. So that is available with a free trial, which at the end of this video, there will be a, another video that shows you how to sign up for a free trial to taking on the best. Okay, I'm just gonna explore a little bit because you'll notice down here, I've got the silver and the gold because there's three tiers to this membership. Um, the most popular is obviously the gold plan because you get access to so much here. Free trial, since we're here, Let's go to the gold plan. For this particular skill that we worked on today, you will have complimentary access to McCarthy Math 155 for your seven day free trial. Click on that, go to third grade. We're gonna go to unit one, which is place value. And let's see, so right here, days one is welcome to my place. This is where we're practicing identifying place value. Day two and three is knowing your value. So place value, and knowing the value of digits to help with reading and writing numbers. And it's included in the trial, so definitely check out those videos if you are interested and know that you need more help. All right, so there you go. There are some of the next steps that you can take. You've got that math song. You can get your taking on the best free trial to access those sample videos. Checking out McCarthy Math 155 as well. When you're ready to sign up for that free trial, you can click the link below. There should also be a video that pops up around here somewhere on this screen that'll show you how to, it'll walk you through the free trial process. Piece of cake. Now, if you found this video to be helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing because that allows me to continue to bring more free content like this to you. It really does help me out. It doesn't cost you a thing. And I certainly appreciate it. Also by subscribing to my YouTube channel, you're one of the first to know when I drop a new video. So go ahead and do that. And I will see you on another episode real soon. Bye.